is up, my fellow creepers and things that go bump in the night. Welcome back to yet another episode of Creature of the Night. I am your friendly neighborhood center's Toxin. Uh, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell to let you know every time I upload so you can keep up to date with me, guys. You should know this. Um, so I have another 2021 for you. Uh, I really didn't hear too much about this. It was one of those midnight scrolls through Netflix, I believe, that we saw it. Uh, it, it was all over the place. I'm not going to lie. There, it was pretty boring, but I tried to stay engaged because it had a good premise. But let's get into it. The, the boathouse. You've been here before. What? No. You know, I was in a car accident. It's affected my memory a little bit. And crazy. She goes in a fits. The meds I'm taking, they make me sleepwalk. Any more blackouts? Blackout. Okay, so we meet... This is how much I care about it. I don't even remember the actors or the, you know, the characters' names. Uh, but we meet this girl who's having trouble with school. She's actually going to school for uh, composing. She's a piano player. She writes her own music. And I get, you know, she's... I don't really know what is out there for piano. Like, what can you go to Carnegie Hall or something like that? I don't know. Something big where she's trying to write her own music. Um, she's having problems with school financially. So she gets into the system to where she's taking care of kids she's trying to become a nanny she happens to land this job for this uh famous writer he has two kids one from a previous marriage and one from the marriage that he's currently in but there's an issue here because the reason they need a nanny is because her his wife is missing now missing she does get up and leave because she is also a composer too she's actually well world you known worldwide for her piano music for her composing and she's it's not the first time that she g didn't get up and leave you know so they're kind of used to it but you know after time goes on you know suspicion starts rising but it's whatever maybe she got tired of everything that's what the, the husband's thinking like whatever you know you know you got to do you i'm just gonna focus on my career and my kids so but the thing is you know this guy because of like I don't know if it's every writer because of me when I'm editing or I'm writing I have to have noise going on I don't I really isolate myself technically I, I just like to have me I can't be sitting in quiet but a majority of the writers they do need to go and isolate themselves I know a lot of people uh, like Stephen King and stuff like that they do go away for a cabin they have a summer home or something like that where they can just get away and write and focus on their books this guy is no different he goes away for you know weeks at a time leaving his kid in the care of this fucking basically this stranger that he really doesn't know much about he's just entrusting your kids you know hey what can i say i guess you know i don't want to sound racist or nothing but that's very white of you all right because you know mexicans we don't leave our kids with any with anybody we don't i was like goddamn i think 13 years old before my mother let me out of the house to go spend a night with a friend that i had known since kindergarten i'm just saying that, that that's how we are that's how we are as people we don't trust nobody you it's out of the question so but whatever you know this is how you know serial killers and stalking happens but you know to each his own i guess okay so and you know as the film's going on you know she it's always that one kid in the group she has issues with the son he is very attached to his mother so he doesn't see why we need a nanny we should be out there looking for my mom we should know what's happening why do we need this female in the house she's just getting in the way and I believe he's at that age where he's going, he's becoming a little rebel. He's becoming a little fucker. That's what it is, all right? So he just gives her issues. And there's actually times where he's, maybe you wouldn't call it that, but it's like attempted to kill because he has traps set up throughout the forest because they're surrounded. You know, it's one of those houses on the lake, boathouse, guys. I'm, come on. Like, it's they're very rich and it's surrounded by wooded areas. So he has traps and booby traps, crossbows like protecting his fort to the extreme to say again serial killer in the making just a heads up but you know we're we're seeing we're seeing more from the this this nanny she's having nightmares she's sleepwalking she keeps hearing people play the piano but the weird thing is, is she, she's hearing her song but she can't really remember it's her song because we later find out that she was actually in a car wreck which led to her financial problems with her school to why she needs this job now so she is recovering from that she has lost memory we don't know what the hell is going on and you know as this happens throughout you know she's she's starting to come back she's starting to become normal she's not really gaining her memories back as you can tell maybe it's through her her sleepwalking because she is having nightmares about like certain instances that she doesn't really remember happening 
because uh, it we as time goes on we're finding out that the the missing lady the missing wife is actually her former uh teacher that was in this school so we're like okay what the hell what the hell's going on why is she having dreams about her like it seems that she has been in this house before but then she always says she hasn't and then more suspicions happen that neighbors remember seeing her there before but she's like no that's impossible this is the first time i ever been here i just came here for this job she then becomes romantically involved with the husband they we can call it an affair because we don't we didn't know we don't know what's happening with the wife if she's gone if she really up and left with somebody else or she just had enough and abandoned her family or maybe she's dead we don't know so it's an affair they start messing around she comes she no longer really has to nanny she does continue nannying because you know why not that's how they met but he is actually offered to play uh pay for her school and it's like wow okay that's kind of weird whatever but um, as you know more incidences go on that she's having more issues with the kid the kid actually bullies her his younger sister and I say killing the pet rabbit that she had in the process and just like hiding shit from her being selfish with his objects and it, it actually gets to the point where she's confronting him in the boathouse he pushes her into the water and as she goes into the water boom the the wife is revealed she's at the bottom of the lake and she's dead obviously she's at the bottom of the lake she's dead and it turns out, you know, she was actually, it, it seems she was either hit with or she hit her head and she laid her drown. So she was there in the, the whole time, you know, and nobody really knowing, like, who knows how long she was really missing because kind of, it's kind of vague with that. As the FBI is investigating, we later find out that it seemed that her car crash was around the area of this boathouse, around this house. So was she coming from there? What was going on? big reveal guys because as she, it's like a jolt she kind of gets it all back in the in a sudden uh immediate incidents i i forget what actually happened or what triggered it i think she hears a song or something like that she's listening to i, I, I think she's listening to the, the wife's latest album and she hears a song that kind of triggers the memory it turns out that the song that is on the cd is one of her songs that she wrote for a project in class and because this teacher was so strict and so hard on her that she actually ended up taking it for herself. She loved it so much, ended up taking it for herself and saying that she wrote it and to put it on her album later. So the, the student goes and confronts her, says, what the hell are you doing? Why did you change it? Why are you using it? Why are you not giving me credit? Basically saying, you know what? I, you know, I'm well known. You're my student. You need to pay your dues. What I say goes. Shit gets heated. I don't really necessarily think she meant to kill her. They just kind of do a tussle and they fall. They both fall in the water, and then the and the result of them falling in the water, she hits her head. On, I think on the pier or a piece of wood or something that is down there, and she ends up drowning, either being knocked out or she just became, you know, paralyzed, whatever. And she just ends up leaving there. And then as she's leaving the house, she's speeding, not paying attention. She gets into a wreck, and that's what led to this whole roundabout thing. Now that she knows the truth, she knows the FBI is on to her, the husband is on to her, she has to frame the husband, she makes it look like the husband is attacking her so that the son sees it because they've been kind of connecting on a level. Now they're becoming cool, he's like, okay, you're kind of dating my dad, mom, I accepted that my mom died, so now it's cool, whatever, you know, we can be friends. But he walks in on that incident where it looks like the husband's attacking her, so he ends up killing his dad. And he ends, she, I don't, it's kind of unclear what happens to the two kids after that. Maybe she takes them out. I'm not sure. Because then later after that, she goes and she's actually playing in front of an audience her song because it didn't reach the worldwide that the, that this lady wrote it. It was an emotional roller coaster, but again, it was just boring. It had a good premise. I think if they would have done it correctly, it would have been very entertaining. But it, uh, the whole thing, I was just boring. I kind of fell asleep through it a little bit. I was on my phone most of the time. It, Guys, it, it gets, for the storyline and the premise of what they were trying to do, I do give them like one thumbs up, okay, an attempt. Maybe four out of ten, I'm being generous. I don't know, you know, depending on who you ask, you might get another thing. But again, I believe I saw it on Netflix. If not, Netflix is Amazon Prime. Those are the two things that I've been alternating through uh, most recently. So go check it out, guys. Go let me know what you thought about this uh, film. If you go and check it out, let me know what you thought about this video. Oh, guys. Valentine's Day is around the corner, alright? This video was sponsored. It was actually requested by Miss Moon. 
So, guys, get your Valentine's Day treats with Rockin' Sweets. I will leave her information below, the link to her Instagram, to her Facebook page. Like, order some stuff, guys. She does an amazing job. Her stuff tastes amazing. Her uh, decoration is on point, and it's like nothing I've ever seen, guys. Go check it out. Again, guys, I'm your friendly neighborhood center. And always remember, if you're not sinning, you're not having fun, guys. Beware the moon.